Hey, this is Matt Wimmer from Ready Precision. In this video, we're taking a look at a new demo resource that's available to you as a user of BP Tech Center. So let's jump online and take a look. All right, so if you're a BP Tech Center user, you will now see a new button here at the top in the menu bar uh, called menu uh, demos, excuse me. Uh, and when you click on that, you'll get brought to a page for different demo sites that we uh, make available to you. Right now, we just have a Niagara Force supervisor that is available there, and that's what we're showing off at the moment. And uh, all you have to do is click on the visit button here to bring it up. Uh, just keep in mind that your uh, credentials are going to be demo user and demo pass one, two, three. So let's click on that. I already logged in, so it's already going to bring me directly in, but you'll get the login prompt uh, the first time that you log in, and you'll punch in those details. So this uh, demo supervisor is something that we've been wor working on for a little bit here at our offices. Um, this is built on Niagara, and we're using Reflow as the front end for it. Um, a whole bunch of different devices uh from different manufacturers are being used throughout the demo. Demo is always really going to be changing because as much as it is a demo for you to look at things, it's also a demo for us to test things on as well. So it'll be up, but uh, things might look a little bit different as you jump in from time to time. So the first thing that you get brought to is this home page. We get a temperature at the top. We get some basic building statistics and information. So our, our average uh, temperature... Uh, humidity and CO2. We get an overview uh, floor plan and a bunch of different temperatures for different zones in uh, the building. And then at the very bottom, we have our three air handlers, air handlers that are um, providing all of our uh, uh, heating and cooling for the entire building. Uh, the next piece that I'll show off is something that if you've been to our building, uh, you've probably seen this screen on some of the TVs that we have throughout the building. Um, and it's just sort of a overview uh, dashboard of just about every piece of information that we can show off to you. So uh, at the very top, we're showing you um, some basic security information. So our admin side door, our sales side door, and our Jace cabinet in the warehouse, um, what the lock statuses are for those things. Then we get into schedules, so whether or not uh, our training room is occupied, um, same with the panel shop, and then the overall um, office schedule. And then we get into some indoor air quality information, uh, CO2, uh, particulate matter, and uh, volatile organic compounds. And we're showing you the values of those with the... Um, color coding indicating whether or not we're in a state that maybe eh, air quality could be better or green like we are now means that the air quality is good. We've also seen some weird things happen with this um, air quality sensor that we're working through with the uh, manufacturer on it. So if you see some wonky looking data here, that very well could be uh, the issue. Then we get into uh, our utility usage. Uh, over the last year, we've done a lot to bring in uh, additional meters so that we can show off uh, the kind of energy and utility that we're uh, using for the building. So uh, we've got our overall building demand, our warehouse lighting demand, our uh, water, water volume rates, um, how much water we're using, and then how much uh, gas we're using as well for heat. And then underneath those, we have a little bit of a, a spark line uh, chart, which is a nice, easy way to get a quick look at the last seven days worth of values. And um, you can pick up on uh, problematic things in here very easily, like if uh, lights get left, left on when they shouldn't, that kind of thing. And then we get into a larger uh, last eight hours uh, graph of the... Uh, KW usage in the building, uh, looking at both of those meters. And then a uh, general uh, overview table of uh, some values coming out of our air, air handlers. 
And then uh, beneath that, we have all of the zones that are on our Air Handler 1 and Air Handler 2. So if the next uh, piece here is our equipment page. And in here, same thing, we're looking at our air handlers and our VAVs. And um, if there aren't actually VAVs, is a VVT system in the building. But you get the idea. Um, and we're looking at uh, those individual VAVs or VVTs here. And then the areas that each one of them serve are space temperatures, active set point, uh, damper commands, uh, if there's radiant heat, uh, what those commands are, that kind of thing. And then we can go over to a just a very quick meter overview. Uh, it's going to show us some data out of each of the meters, what they're each reading, um, that kind of thing. And then we can go over to our schedules, see exactly what the schedules are looking like, click in. Now, um, one thing that I should have noted earlier, but is worth noting now, it's that Everything that you uh, see in here is not writable as a demo user. So you can only look at the data. You can't manipulate it at all. That goes obviously for schedules and things as well. And then we can look at uh, histories. So um, if I just pull up like our CO2 history, you can take a look at that. Um, last 24 hours you can kind of see okay the building goes unoccupied and people leave we can see our co2 go down and then it starts coming back up as people get in the building uh strongly around 7 30 that kind of thing and then again this is all reflows built in uh charting features and that kind of thing and then we get into alarms uh not a whole heck of a lot going on here at the moment but uh, that alarm page is there as well. So hopefully that um, is a helpful resource for you. If anything, it's worth checking out just to see what uh, is possible with uh, Reflow as a contractor and for your end users. This uh, whole interface is responsive, so you can use it on a phone, um, on a, an iPad, or on your PC, any kind of screen size, and it'll adjust itself depending on what that screen size looks like. We don't have to do anything special to make that happen. It's automatically done for us because it's using Reflow. So hopefully that's helpful. If you have any questions about uh, what we did or why we're doing things or th some things in here that you'd like to see, uh, let us know in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching, and like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.